What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christopher, this is Cars Unlocked. We're here with the Nissan Murano S front wheel drive. So we're gonna be going over everything that you get standard on the Nissan Murano because this is the standard package. It's got an MSRP of 34,098. Big shout out to my employer, St. Catharines Nissan, for letting us grab this car and film it for you today. If you guys have any questions, comment in the comment section below. Uh, if you guys want to inquire about purchasing this vehicle, this is what we do. We film the cars here on Cars Unlocked, and then I go to work and sell them. So if you guys have questions about purchasing, if you're in our area, do not hesitate to contact me. I would be more than happy to answer any questions you have and facilitate your purchase of this vehicle. As always guys, thank you so much for everybody who subscribes. Like my channel could not be going if it wasn't for you guys. There's a handful of you who comment on all my videos and I greatly appreciate it. You know who you are, the George Perez, the Stephen A's, the Raymond Carters, my Summer Jacobs, Slavic Brewer, all you guys, I know I missed a lot of you, but thank you so much. Kevin Minnie, Andrew, you know who you are. Any questions, just let me know, but thank you. Let's get into the video here with this 2021 Nissan Murano S. For the power plan, it's gonna come with this 3.5 liter V6 engine. It's a direct injection gasoline, gonna give you about 260 horsepower and 240 pounds feet of torque. As I mentioned, it's front wheel drive. It's equipped with a CVT transmission. It does accelerate very well. This is one of the reasons why you go to a Murano versus the Rogue or the Qashqai. Uh, you get the added horsepower, you get the added acceleration, but you do sacrifice a little bit of fuel economy. This one being the front wheel drive, it gets 11.7 liters per every 100 kilometers in the city or 8.3 on the highway. All my American friends, that's 24 MPG and 34 MPG highway. It's gonna come with quite a few added features like your hill start assist, all the safety tech that we're gonna get to in a second. I can't wait to take it for a drive and show you. Let's do it. The Murano has always been sleek, elegant, and sporty. You can see the body lines coming through this. This one is the entry level, like I said. So we're gonna go over the standard equipment that you get. And we start with the side profile here. It's gonna be sitting on 16 inch aluminum alloy rims, and then we're gonna get the all season tires. This one is front wheel drive. If you prefer all wheel drive, you need to go up to the next package up, the SV or above. But you get a lot of high end features with this chrome. You can see our chrome accents throughout our mirror, our LED signal right here as well. And then the chrome continues around the windows to the handles. And then right on the lower side fascia there, we do get the chrome. Black roof rails as well, that comes standard on the Murano. And then you have your rear privacy glass, so that's gonna help if you have family in the back and it's gonna help with the UV rays. Let's check out the front. On the front, we get this chrome accents that are continuing right into our Nissan V-Motion grill. That's what Nissan is known for. LED daytime running lights, LED headlights, and then you also get LED taillights on the back. Little chrome accents all throughout the front, like I said. We do have a sensor here. That's gonna be for like our forward emergency braking, and it's gonna assist you when parking. And then we have a sensor right on the windshield as well. And that's gonna help with the intelligent cruise control. So when you're using your cruise control, you can set the lengths that you are of the car in front of you, and it will help you slow down as you approach cars so you don't always have to adjust your speed. Look at the rear. The Murano has this nice design floating roof. Everything flows into the back. And then we have our boomerang style taillights as well. It really looks sharp with the black on black because it does really accent that floating roof look. And then we come around to our LED taillights. We have our parking sensors on the rear bumper as well and our rear backup camera. And then I open it up, 909 liters or 32 cubic feet of cargo capacity. Very big trunk. There's a little bit of hidden storage as well here. So you can put things like your snow brushes, first aid kits. You can hide a little different items in there. And then this is my favorite part. Look at this. The seats come right down. I got the seat pellets blocking it there, but the seats fold pretty much flat and you can use these levers to drop the seats, as I mentioned, and then you get a lot more storage for those Ikea runs and things like that. You get this Nissan Intelligent key. It's the same key that Nissan's had for a while. I've shown it in all my videos with our lock, unlock, and our panic button. And then it is a proximity key. So you can unlock 
and lock the doors using the button right on the handle here. There you can see I've locked it. And then to enter the car, you just need to have the key in the proximity and you push the button there and it unlocks. And then you jump into this gorgeous interior. This is what I'm super excited about. Has the black with the silver accents and then this lovely zero gravity seat that Nissan really talks about. It's gonna be an eight way power adjustable driver's seat very comfortable in those long rides. So when you put it in reverse, you can see uh, the backup camera comes on automatically, and then you have these guidance lines as well. As I approach this tree behind us, you hear those sensors coming on, and that's gonna let you know how close you are to the object and when you should stop. So let's talk about driving this thing. Comfort, like super comfortable. I really enjoy the comfort of the seats. I really enjoy the ride, the suspension. Uh, it's very, very smooth ride and accelerates nice and smooth. We're gonna go on the on-ramp here and I'm gonna put my foot down a bit so you guys can hear. I don't know if you can really hear the V6 through the microphone, but it accelerates incredible. Like, there we go. Hopefully that was okay. Nice and easy acceleration, passing on the highway, nice and easy. Everything is smooth when you drive. You don't get the ProPilot Assist. That's a feature of the Rogue, mainly because this one is a hydraulic steering vehicle. So you don't get the ProPilot where it's gonna keep you centered in lane like the Rogue. And that would be my only thing really stopping me from purchasing the Murano because I do a lot of highway driving and I really enjoy the Pro Pilot that's in the Rogue I drive. This one being front wheel drive and the V6, you shouldn't have too many problems in the snow. It all depends on where you live and how much snow you have, but if you want the all wheel drive, you can get the Nissan Intelligent all wheel drive in the SV. Very easy to change lanes. There's not many blind spots. I have my mirrors all the way out. Looking in the back at you guys, uh, the mirrors are nice and large and the windows are nice and large. So visibility is great. I can see the whole front hood as well. And I just feel like nice and safe and sturdy in the Murano. It's not like, it doesn't feel like a cheap vehicle. And that's what Nissan's trying to accomplish. They're trying to enter that luxury crossover market with the Murano, but not really uh, getting into the crossover pricing that you would with your Acuras and things like that. So you don't pay the exorbitant amount of price that you would pay for like a Lexus RS or an RDX or an Acura MDX, those type of vehicles. So we got the Cirrus XM on. It comes with six audio speakers to play music here. If you want the Bose upgraded sound system, you gotta go up to the higher package, but uh, you can play music through Bluetooth, Spotify apps, using the Apple CarPlay. Like you can use all your apps on your phone, the iHeartRadio, Amazon Music but I like the Sirius XM as well. So it is a clear sound system. Hopefully you can hear it through the microphone. You have the speed sensitive volume as well. So it will adjust the audio as your speed adjusts. Uh, so if you like music, you can definitely take advantage of that. So that's a wrap guys. Thanks so much for watching the Nissan Murano. As I said at the start, thank you to everybody who's been supporting my channel throughout uh, the past coming months and throughout the years. As always guys, if you wanna see more, subscribe to my channel. Any questions, I have my work email in the description below. So make sure you contact me if you are interested in purchasing this vehicle. Have a great day.